Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example. Suppose we have a 100 watt light bulb. It has an inner radius of 12 inches, an outer radius of 13 and a quarter inches, and the surface temperature of the material encasing the light bulb has an inside temperature of 121 degrees Fahrenheit and an outside temperature of 97 degrees Fahrenheit. But keep in mind, those are, that's the surface temperature. So they're asking us two things. First of all, what is the thermal conductivity constant of the material? And secondly, once we find that, given the uh, transmission coefficient due to convection of 20 BTUs per square foot per hour per Fahrenheit degree, find the outside temperature. And you can see here that we're dealing with in parallel units, so we need to do some conversion. In case we forgot, here's the equation that tells us the conduction of heat through a spherical object with inner and outer radius. So let's go ahead and solve that equation for K. So first what we do is we can bring the K up and we can bring the radii to the left. So we have Q dot times 1 over R inside minus 1 over R outside is equal to delta T times 4 pi times K. And then of course solve enough for K, we can say that K is equal to Q dot times 1 over the inside radius minus 1 over the outside radius all divided by 4 pi times delta t. All right, now we're ready to solve for k. We will need to make some conversions in just a moment. So first of all, k is equal to q dot, the amount of heat, assuming that's going to be the 100 watts if we're in a steady state condition. So it will be 100 joules per second, but we have to convert that. First of all, we need to go to BTUs per joule. And one BTU is 1,055 joules. And then we have to convert from seconds to hours. So we need hours in the bottom. We need seconds at the top. And one hour is 3,600 seconds. So now we have converted Q dot to that. Now we have to multiply that times 1 over the inner radius. 1 over the inner radius is 12 inches. That's going to be 1 foot. So it's 1 over 1 minus 1 over... Well, what's 13 and a quarter inches in feet? 13.25 divided by 12 gives us 1.104, 1 1.1042. So that's one over that many feet for the radius. And then we divide that by four pi times the difference in temperature. And the difference in temperature is going to be 24 Fahrenheit degrees, 24 Fahrenheit degrees like that okay and notice that this is going to be in feet and this is going to be in feet as well one over one foot oh actually it should be this many feet and oh, oh, oh no feet is in the bottom it's gonna be one over the radius okay that's correct for the units now we're ready to calculate K K is equal to so 1 divided by 1.1 1 .1 042 minus subtractive from 1 multiply that times 3600 multiply that oh divide by 1055 and multiply times 100 divide by 4 divide by pi and divide by 24 and I get 0.107 okay that would be 0 0.107 now that's a heat conductivity constant that's going to be in terms of BTUs per mm, that would be square feet BTUs per feet not square feet per feet because square <laughs> come on Tappy come on. okay Tappy all right so we need uh, that's per feet and that would be times hours right so BTUs per feet per hour uh, no, no, not per hour. That would be per Fahrenheit degree. There we go, per Fahrenheit degree, not per hour. Now I'm good. BTUs per feet per Fahrenheit degree. And so that would be the conductivity constant of the material around the light bulb. Next, we need to give, let's see, given that, find the outside temperature. So now we have to go back to the following. We have to say that Q dot is going to be equal to the difference in temperature from the outside to the inside divided by 1 over h times the area okay now solving that for delta t then what we need to do is bring h8 to the numerator 
switch the equation around, and then we end up with delta t is equal to q dot divided by h times a. All right, let's plug in what we know. Q dot, that's the amount of heat flow, that's 100 watts or 100 joules per second. We need to again convert that to BTUs. So we have BTU and we have joules. And one BTU is 1,055 joules. We have to convert from seconds to hours. So we have hours in the denominator. We have seconds in the numerator, 1 and 3,600. Okay, so that converts joules per second to BTUs per hour. In the denominator, we have H, which is given to us as 20 BTU per square feet per hour per Fahrenheit degree. And now we need to have the area of the outside surface of the light bulb. So the outside surface is going to be, it's a sphere, so it's 4 pi times the radius squared. And the outside radius is 1.1042 feet. And we have to square that. And that should give us the difference in the temperature between the outside surface and the air. All right, let's see what we get. 100 divided by 1,055 times 3,600, divided by 20, divided by 4, divided by pi, and divided by 1.1042 squared. Yes, because you have to have the radius squared equals, and we get 1.11 degrees. So, let's see here. So, 1.11 Fahrenheit degrees. Now, notice that the outside temperature of the surface was 97. That means T on the outside for the air is going to be equal to 97 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1.11 Fahrenheit degrees. So it will be equal to 95.89 degrees Fahrenheit for the outside air temperature. So another slightly over one Fahrenheit degree drop from the outside surface to the air. And of course, that's non-forced or ambient air uh, convection and that is how it's done.